Hey guys, it's Dino. Today we'll be doing a shorter episode just to cover the corruption for people who have the corruption instead of the crimson. Now keep in mind you will be fighting another boss after I Cthulhu and I will be covering um, this boss. Um, both evil biomes have their own unique boss that are supposed to be fought after I Cthulhu. The crimson one is a little bit harder than the corruption one. But for the corruption, you got a big worm. Crimson, you got a big brain. All right, so the corruption balm has a purple kind of decayed look with these. Um, the chasms are different too. They're just straight down tunnels, which hints to the boss, which is the giant worm. Um, and if you're wondering how to, I'm um, turning to a wolf here, I can show you. So the quick thing here is for the wolf pet, there's two ways to get this. You make a new character and you name them wolf pet. Uh, exactly how I do it here. Just don't do the capitalized P. And then once you have it, you just create your character, load up a world, and your character won't have any inventory, so don't panic. You go to equipment and it'll be right there. And boom, this is just an easy way to just travel, I guess. Run really fast. <laughs> I got a little birdie sitting on my back. That's funny. And yeah, pretty much. You just become a wolf. It's a mount. Um, you are the mount. Yeah, I'm just going to delete this because I don't want this. I don't really care for it. Uh, back to the corruption. Also, the other way to get the, the wolf necklace, N Lilith's necklace, is um, you just commit mass murder on a ton of wolves in the ice biome, I believe. I believe that's the other way of getting it. It's a neat item, because um, one of the developer's daughter daughters were obsessed with wolves. So. Um, now I'm getting a little off topic. So the corruption has these little floating guys. What the heck? They're in the trees? They're in the trees! They're in the trees! Anyways, Evan Wood drops from those. Here's the altars, pretty much same properties as the crimson altars. It's just a reskin, I guess you can say. No, uh, no offense to any of you crimson lovers, but corruption was the original, and it's just generally better. So I don't care if you get angry. Crim uh, corruption's better. Oh, I can't mine. That's right. So what you want to do is just blow it up again with bombs. And you'll destroy these shadow orbs to summon this boss. Um, you'll see green text at the bottom of your screen. Don't be intimidated. This boss is really not that hard. And if you die from this boss, I uh, shame on you. No, I'm kidding. You, you tried. If you died and fought it, you tried. Good job. Sportsmanship, you know? Alright. So, I'm using sticky bombs just to waste less time here. Or destroyed two shadow orbs. This is the last one. And once you destroy the third one, the boss spawns. And it's called the Eater of Worlds. Very spooky name for a not so spooky geek boss. And this boss is not too hard. You just go back and forth in dirt, up and down, left and right. And the more you slash this boss, the more you start to realize that it splits up. It, it'll actually split into multiple forms if you like hit the torso and destroy the torso instead of the head. But it, the boss ain't that hard. I'm constantly taking damage, but if you're smart, you won't be like me and just constantly take one damage over and over again. Although you take a lot more, but it, it's not that hard of a boss. It's it's kind of simple. Unless you're playing Calamity, then there's. You're psychotic. Yeah. He's dying quick. Look. Look at this fool. He thinks he's so powerful. I mean, that's what I thought too before I died to some skull in a dungeon. Oh, I'm gonna go down this dungeon. Wait. Maybe I should stop. So, the ball of hurt. hurt. Oh my god. The, this flail here, if you want to pause the video to see the stats, you can. Um, the flail that I just used is more powerful, usually more powerful than the 
corruption or crimson sword you get, so I recommend using that after you beat one of these two bosses. And uh, you'll get some torches, demonic scales, which will be useful. Um, you'll be needing two different items from both Aikathilo and the evil boss. That's it guys for this video. In the next one, I'll do Brennan Cthulhu and continue our main run there. Thanks for watching.